traffic stops. Now folks, when it comes to this, it is really important, as I stated before, that the wheel, whatever target that you're working with, is always doing precisely what it is that you intend for it to do. Um, Daniel was getting warmed up uh, a little bit before, so I'm going to wait until he's done stretching or doing what he's doing. I'm going to be stepping out of this. Lord knows we have enough stuff with me working with this. <laughs> um, so right now what I'm doing is I'm basically, all I'm doing is activating the amount of electrical activity that there is around. So, increasing the amount of electromagnetic radiation. You see it's getting stronger and stronger as I go. There's nothing uh, too complex or technical about it once you start understanding how it all operates. But what is important is that regardless, whatever is happening, it is what you want to be happening. See that? Oftentimes what I do is I like to use my fingers, okay? By doing so I can control the speed of the wheel, the amount that I want to happen. Uh, other times if I just want, I hate to use certain terms because then people get the idea that it means one thing or the other. Um, if I'm wanting extra energy, we'll just say like that. I have things where I'll do where I breathe in and I'll push. So as you saw that sped up just a little bit. Um, other things that I'll do is once I've got it to a certain point where I want the amount of energy that I want, then from that point I will take and use my fingers as a means to up the ante, okay? But only by uh, small increments. Breathing, of course, is yet another tool, another technique. We've talked about it, but we're going to really get into this to where you understand that it becomes a science, okay? Um, stopping, starting, uh, making things go faster, go slower, getting exact amounts of uh, energy that allows you to spin it, turn it back and forth at will, however you want it, however you're choosing for it to go. See that? Just like that. I was able to slow it down to that perfect degree and then pop, pop, just like that, turned it exactly where I wanted it to go. So, right here, oh, he's still taking some pictures. I'm just going to pass it over to him. You ready? Mm -hmm. All you. As it turns to face you. Very well done. And as we both got in there, notice that where we both started from the zero point.
He's now trying to increase the amount of energy that is in the area in case you as a viewer are not aware of what he's uh, doing. I can tell you that I certainly know what he's doing. That is exactly what I'm doing. One of the things that you will uh, eventually get to be aware of is the energy around you or the wind currents around you. And one of the things that I like to do is if we're using our bioelectric field and connecting into the energy around us, you can pull that energy in. And so there's trees around us, there's clouds above us. And so you can pull that energy in, and that can help boost your levels of energy. Also, it helps to keep you from getting tired. There's a lot of people, especially lately, has been asking me, how do you do this without becoming drained? Well, if you know how to use your ambient environment around you, as opposed to dispersing out all of your electrical uh, field, then you'll find yourself getting much, much, much less tired. Mm -hmm. Now take a look at the energetic field right now. Now we have a before and after effect. I was just sitting there. There was one thing. Now this system is now tuning itself back to Daniel's electrical field. Mine did one thing. Daniel's is now doing another. Now he's retuning his environment using uh, the harmony buzzing method. And here we go. Now, I've talked about that before as well, and I want people to really uh, understand that. A system is not going to react to every single person the exact same way. It's going to tune itself to how you tune it. It's going to tune itself to your personal electric, electrical signature. Okay, uh, I have my own. Daniel has his own. I've spent time beefing mine to where it's at. Daniel will spend time beefing his to where it is at. The field will act differently according to who is operating it. And sometimes the field won't enact at all. Sometimes the field will shut you down if it doesn't feel that your energy field is jiving with its energy field. Okay, if it feels a clash, it will shut you down. And I have seen it happen on so many occasions that uh, there's no way I could count it. There's some people out there that they get in there and they're like uh, thinking that they're going to just uh, be a superhero and overpower the field and do whatever they want and then the system says, uh, not today. You'll also reach, uh, Michael has talked about thresholds. So one of the reasons that a system you're working with, that you've been working with in harmony might shut down over the course of a couple minutes or immediately is that you've reached a threshold and so you have to build the system up. And there might be different methods to that. That's right. So the same thing that you're doing, like one of the things that I like to do is spin, kind of create a vortex wherever I'm at. And as you see the windmill is kind of acting accordingly, but this is for me, I'm visualizing the energy spinning around me, creating a vortex, pulling that energy in from all sides, and then I can use that to boost, but that might not work the next time. So it's, uh, you learn problem solving skills as well. Multiple techniques. Mm -hmm. And what works for me might not work for you. You have to learn what is, what your strengths are with these abilities. Michael and I have different things that work for both of us. Some things work, like the circular motion, usually works with activating your environment. Yeah, it'll work for everybody. Mm -hmm. But, there are other things, you know, Daniel has come up with his own techniques mm -hmm. that I don't use. And uh, I've come up with techniques that he doesn't use. But there's certain things that are intrinsic, so certain things that will uh, work across the board, 
okay? And some of those techniques, actually a lot of those techniques uh, I have taught. I used to actually have them free online, but I found that there wasn't too many people who were actually watching the tutorial videos. Hence the reason why the tutorial videos got taken down and now we have a school to teach it. And so those who are willing to work and take their education seriously, um, they get those techniques to learn from. Like he said, and we just gave one away, which is circular motion. Other than that, um, there is a multitude of others, and for those who are uh, who have graduated and moved into the abilities courses, okay, um, we have a preliminaries to abilities, then we have the abilities course, and for those who have moved into that, they're getting to learn all of those things, and then they can take those and apply those and add them to their own repertoire of what works for them or what doesn't. Again, every single person is different. Every single person has their own energetic signature. And so what may work for one person may not work for another. Again, there are certain ones that will work every single time for every single person. But for the most part, um, this is the reason why we have these lessons and we teach and we work with our students and we have constant uh, videos that are being put out is so that way a person can pick up on techniques that we throw out there. Okay, now we're going to, uh, I'm going to shut this down. That's going to be part of our demonstration section. And now for the students who have uh, paid their money, time, and dues for their courses, we're getting ready to do a lesson for them. Overall, that's better for your own personal control over it, too. You like that better? Yeah, that's much better. It's not in your face as much. Yeah.